Hello, and Happy New Year. My name is David, and I'm the Literacy Educator at the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art. Thank you so much for joining Storytime with the Carl, our weekly read aloud series. Before we start today's book, let's warm up with a little hello song. Can you clap your hands and tap your knees like this? And this song has some of my favorite snacks in it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Let's try it again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! <gasps> that was so loud. <gasps> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello! Oh. Did you already say it? That was so fast, it zoomed by. All right, this time let's try it as slow as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. So slow, like a sloth. All right, one last time, as nice as we can. However you think is a nice way to say hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello. Howdy, hey. What lovely hellos. It's so nice to see you again. Let's, today, we are going to say hello to the new year, 2021, with Hello, Hello by Brendan Wenzel. Big thanks to Chronicle Books for giving us permission to share this book with you. Now, as we read, we are going to see and move our bodies like lots of different amazing animals. On the cover, we see some animals, and this orange one is called a pangolin. And this green one next to it is a special kind of chameleon called a Jackson's chameleon. And at first sight, these animals might look pretty different. But if we look closely, is there anything that this, that's the same about them? They both have these curly tails, right? Can you, what part of your body can you curl? Can you curl your arm? Can you curl your fingers? Nice curls. So as we read, we're gonna move our bodies like animals and we're gonna look closely with our eyes to see what we can, what else we can find that's the same about these animals. our end papers, we see the silhouettes of even more animals. Which do you, what animals do you see? So many. Now some of these you may recognize and some you may not, and that's okay. At the end of the book, I'll tell you how you can find out the names of all of them. You ready? Hello, hello by Brendan Wenzel. What do we see? Two cats. One white, one black. Hello, hello. The black cat has wandered to the next page next to a black bear. 
And on the other side of the page, what do we see? A panda bear, a zebra, and a little fish. And what is the same about all of those? That's right, they're black and white. Hello, black and white. and white fish. Can you find it? It swam to the next page. <gasps> Hello, color. Hello, bright. What colors do we see? <gasps> blue and red and green and yellow and pink and blue and <gasps> this orange animal is called a newt. Keep your eye on, keep your eye out for that newt. The newt has crawled over to the next page and is saying hello to salamander and tiger. What does salamander and tiger both have? Stripes. Hello, stripes. And on this side, we see cheetah and a boxfish. What do they both have? Spots. Hello, spots. And on the edge of this page is another part of a creature with spots. What do you think that animal is? Let's turn the page and on three, we'll find out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, whoa, it's a whale shark. Look at all those white polka dots. Hello, giant. Hello, not. How giant can you make your bodies? Let's see how giant we can be. Oh, so big. Oh, nice stretching. How not giant can we make our bodies? Can you get really small? Hello, tongue. Look at that long tongue. Can you stick out your tongue? Mm. Hello, tongue. Ears, hands, and nose. Oh, the proboscis monkey and the elephant seal over here. Both have really long, curvy noses. Can you try to curve your nose? Scrunch it up. Hello, nose. Hello, pattern. Hello, pose. And there we see our friends from the cover, the pangolin and the chameleon curving their tails. Can you curl your arms again? Ooh. Nice curls. Hello, pose. Hello, shape. Hello, show. Hello, wonder. Hello, <gasps> whoa! <gasps> On this side, we see a porcupine, and this is called an echidna. And they both have really spiky quills. <gasps> Can you turn your finger into a quill and poke, 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 poke? Whoa, hello, whoa, hello, quiet. On three, let's see how quietly we can whisper. Hello, one, two, three, hello. 
Hello. Loud. On three, let's see how loud we can say hello. One, two, three. Hello! So loud. Hello, loud. Hello, wild. Hello, proud. Down here we see a blue morpho butterfly and a butterfly with wings that look like owl eyes. It's called an owl butterfly. Let's turn our arms into butterfly wings and flap them. Flap, 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 flap. Nice flying owl butterflies and look. Owl butterflies have flown over to the next page to say hello to an owl. Hello, beauty. Hello, bend. What creature is this? All red. An octopus. Yes. Let's turn our arms into tentacles and bend them to wave hello. Hello, tentacles. Hello, octopi. Hello, Ben. Hello, neighbor. Hello, friend. Walrus is saying hello to elephant. What do the walrus and the elephant both have? Tusks. Yeah, those long horns. Hello, friends. Hello, roars. On three, let's roar like lions. One, two, three, roar. Hello, roars. Peeps, chirps, and chants. Hello, song, and hello, dance. A world to see. A world to see. A world to know. What animals do we see now? People. And over here, orangutans. People and orangutans both have thumbs. If you have a thumb, give a big thumbs up. A world to know where to begin. Hello, hello. Now we see all of the animals that we saw earlier in the book and even some that we didn't see before. And one of the things I love about this book is that in the back, after the story, there's a list of all of the animals that we saw before and their names in the order of appearance. Before I read this book, I didn't know the names of many of the animals. But when I was done, I looked it up and I found out their names. And now I know more about them and I wanna help take care of these animals. So if you're curious and you want to know the names of all the animals in the book, you can find them right there in the back. I am so happy that this book was released as a board book just this year in 2020. It's definitely one of my favorite board book releases of last year. And if you wanna find out more of the Carl's favorite titles from 2020, you can visit our blog, Picture Books We Love. On behalf of 
everyone at the Carl, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your stories. We hope that you'll join us for our next time, our next story time. Uh, in the meantime, hello and goodbye. <laughs>